Hello boys and girls, welcome to Senpai Hobby. My name is Dave, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that is pretty much essential if you're airbrushing. Some people don't feel that you need it, I think it's something that should probably be about the third thing that you end up buying. That's gonna be a paint pot. Looks small, but trust me, these things are essential if you're doing any kind of airbrushing. Now I have gone through several in my life. This is the latest one. This is from Spar Max. I'll end up showing it to you. And this one's actually been pretty good, but I actually ended up picking up another Iwata one because I had one before and it may or may not have gotten thrown across the room and gotten broken. Ah, uh, maybe. So without further ado, let's jump down to the table, take a look at it, and then close out the video. All right, so as I said, we have the old Sparmax one here. I've had this one for probably about 10 years. I had one of these before and it, yeah, it accidentally got thrown across a garage and yeah, it got broken. We're, we're not gonna talk about that. Anyway, but this is a by Iwata and there's a reason that I like this one over this one. This does not have the airbrush holder because it doesn't really hold any airbrushes. Uh, this one has been in service and it's got liquid in the bottom of it for, like I said, about 10 years. Uh, every couple of years, I will soak this in some lacquer thinner and clean out the jar. But the premise is you spray in the hole and fumes come out through here that there's a filter and it eliminates all the odor and overspray and everything. And it does its job damn well. Well, this one I like better because it has a rubberized coating and the holder actually will hold your airbrush. So taking a look at the front side of the box, you have universal spray out pot. Other side, other side, other side, and back to the front. Uh, yes, I did end up picking this up from Amazon and there will be a link down below. But cracking it open, it's super simple. Like you get the pot nicely foam wrapped, get the foam out of here, get rid of the box, and here we are. Now this actual cover, I actually appreciate. It's got a level on here so that you can see like how full it is. Uh, and it actually does take so quite some time to fill up, but this also keeps it from sliding around on your spray desk. Up here, you have a little flip out. This is a mesh and you can make plenty of your own once the ones that are inside wear out but that's just to ca capture any debris and uh, that's in the fumes the whole top unscrews off of the jar you get a little instruction manual we don't really need that extra filters we don't need the extra filters but what we're going to need is what's in here and then this little one try not to lose it because it is extra just in case you need it all right for assembly it's super easy that snaps on that pushes in and like i said this holds a lot. I think you can probably go like almost a year without having to empty it out. Uh, it does have the spray. So how you end up doing it is you end up spraying in, the spray comes down and collects, and then the fumes come out to this other side. It does have a foam seal, so it does seal up actually fairly well. And that's it. So what I like about this one is any of the airbrushes I have, it just slides in and this arm supports it. So it can be your airbrush holder at the same time. And yes, you may hear Tigger in behind me. We've got the Infinity CR Plus. Again, slides right in, nicely held. With this one, you can see it's got a little bit lower profile. And to be able to do that, I just, it just sat in there. Um, the arm that was on here was way up and spread out. It didn't hold anything. So for the value, I actually think this is a great deal. I think I got it for $16. I think that's why it was on Amazon. And one of these will literally last you a lifetime as long as you don't drop and break it clean it out about once a year, unscrew the bottom. I would probably remove the rubberized coating just so you don't get any reaction to the lacquer thinner and soak it or pour in some regular just lacquer thinner that you end up getting at Home Depot. Let it soak for a little bit, pour it out safely into a container to dispose of, wipe it out, and you should be good to go for another year. Doesn't matter whether you use lacquers, acrylics, anything like that, that will clean it out. So this other one's going to go into the waste bin and then this one is going to go over on to the spray desk. It's nice and stable. I do, again, like to have that arm on there to hold it. It makes it nice and secure because a lot of times what I'll do is, especially if I'm filming while I'm doing it, I actually mix paints in my cup. So I'll put some paint, add some thinner, change around the ratios a little bit. And I like to be able to have it on there so that I can do that and I can do a test spray into the pot and go from there. And also cleaning instead of spraying it straight in the booth. Less spray in the booth means less fumes and stuff going out or in your room, depending on the booth that you end up having. 
and it goes into here. I literally have zero issues with smell. Other little baggie, just make sure if you have a little box of tools or something like that that you always keep track of, just stick it with that. The little filters, when they run out, save yourself some money. Don't go hunting them down because I think it's like $4.99 for a pack of five. Go to Joanne's Fabrics and get some cotton batting. Um, save one of these. Just go get some cotton batting and you can make thousands of these for like a dollar. You only need like a square foot. Don't bother go buying a big roll of it. Uh, and you can get different grades of it as well. So that has been my unboxing and review opinion on the Iwata spray pot. Definitely pick one up if you are airbrushing at all. I will provide a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you click on that link and you purchase anything, I get a little bit, costs you nothing, helps out the channel. I appreciate you guys very much. Hope everybody has a great day. And as usual, peace.